Now, yesterday when we talked about what's happening on the show today, we talked about step parenting. Now, parenting itself comes with a great deal of challenges. And when it comes to step parenting, it can be even more challenging. Being a step parent, you know that you need to be able to have a really good relationship when it comes to your step kids. Well, listen up, because this morning we have our clinical psychologist in the studio, a specialist in the field, Catherine Lahas. It's good having you on the show this morning. Thank you. Thanks Let's for get straight me. to the questions. I mean, there's moms watching this morning. There's a whole lot of children who's watching before they go to school. When it comes to fostering a relationship between a parent and a stepchild, or call it a step parent and a child, what is a good relationship? I mean, what should a good relationship look like? A good relationship primarily should look like there's connection between the parent and the child. It's not about the child being obedient to the parent. It's primarily about connection. That the child feels safe with the step parent to be real, to show them all their range of feelings, whether it's good feelings or yucky feelings, um, whether they're tantrums or happy times. Um, yeah, and if the parent can acknowledge those feelings, can accept those feelings, can affirm that those feelings are all okay, um, even if you don't necessarily agree with them or like them, that, that's what a good relationship looks like. I'm glad you said all of that. I'm a step-parent, and usually you think that this is going to be a perfect picture. But you just pointed it out that there might be tantrums, there might be disagreements, but the trust elements and the relationship and the connection is a lot more important than all the other things. When it comes to challenges that can happen between the parent and the child, so we're talking step parents specifically here and then the child, especially when the step parent is trying to build a relationship, I mean, what kind of challenges could arise? I think the important thing to remember is that you want the relationship to be good because that's best for the child. It's mm. best for the child's development. It's best for the development of their self-esteem. Um, so the challenges that can arise are often because everyone's upset with a divorce. The children are very upset. They've lost their family that they knew. And suddenly there's a new family appearing. Um, sometimes the other parent that's not in the new relationship can have some anger or issues with the new step parent. Um, and I think, yeah, those challenges are hard because there are lots of very big feelings all around. Well, let's talk more about integration. How can the biological parents help with this process or help in this regard? I think the number one job as a biological parent is to protect your children. Mm -hmm. And with step parents coming in, what that means is you need to try and ensure that your child has a good relationship with that step parent because that step parent can become as influential over the child's self-esteem and well-being as you as a biological parent. So if the step-parents can support and encourage the relationship, then that's the best way to overcome it. Oh, this is a nice topic this morning. Well, we're going to keep talking about this morning. We're talking about step-parenting. This is your Feel Good Breakfast show. Uh, we also know that when you get it right, it is a very, very beautiful thing that can happen, you know, and it's like you say, uh, sometimes a step parent can have uh, an even more influence or a better uh, relationship with a child than even the biological parents. Well, Catherine is going to stay with us this morning. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Graham, over to you.